Number five, projectile projection. Mulcher 151Q posted this clip of a horrifically ghostly Thresh. Thresh is already a very scary champion. If they are skilled, one hook is enough to sentence you to death. However, it would seem that this Thresh has an even darker secret hidden in their toolkit. Watch closely. It went by fast, but did you see it? When Thresh uses Flash to set up for a surprise hook on the Vigar, two other seemingly incorporeal hooks fly out. Now I'm no challenger player, but I think even Faker would struggle dodging this volley of chains. Could this be the power of missing every Thresh hook in the game until that point? Or do you think there is something darker, and more sinister, afoot? Number 4. Ghosted The next clip was sent in by Hugh Lance, an Emerald Peak Twitch streamer. While playing Graves, a fight broke out in the bottom red side jungle. Things already weren't looking good, but then something caused this Aphelios to completely miss their ult causing them to lose the fight harder than they really should have. Keep your eyes peeled, and you may see what the Cephelio saw. In the clip, about halfway through the fight, you can see a glimpse of a Darius spring out from the jungle brush. Already a scary sight, it gets even worse when you realize there was no Darius in the lobby. Is this some hard-stuck gold Darius main trying to get his chance at high elo? Or could this be a ripple in the rift causing these two games to merge? I'll leave that decision up to you. Number 3. Voices of Ranked Past Lil Angst from popular League of Legends game shows such as Wheel of Fortune and Family Feud was playing a ranked league game off roll in the jungle as Udyr. While in the jungle, some strange noises were playing from the game. Let me know what you hear because it rattles me to the core. It's hard to make out, but if you enhance the audio, you can hear the complaints of someone or something about their jungler. Let me replay it for you. Could this be the ghost of a long forgotten account left to rot on the ground level of iron? or possibly a specter of a jungler offloading their trauma onto angst. To me, it sounds very clear, but let me know if you hear something different. Number 2. Divine Intervention This clip was submitted by totally real reddit account underscore xx I didn't make this up on reddit. They were in a ranked game about to lose when they managed to get close to getting a pick and stalling the game out. Braum was chasing TF out of the base, and when the pick was ready, 
something unbelievable happened. did not doctor any of this video, but it appears that there is some blinding light that hits Brom's screen and blinds him to the exhausted and easily casual TF. Could this be the light of a challenger god showing pity on an overstaying TF player? Or possibly an act of mischief from the rulers of Elo Hell? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Number 1. Possessed by a Bronze Popular League of Legends YouTuber and Twitch streamer Nate150k was streaming his ranked grind on Twitch. Everything was going well until one game in the middle of his stream, while losing bot lane, he decided to ult wave to help clear up some pressure. What happens live will make you question if your teammates are truly terrible, or if there is something else going on. I mean Yumi's missing. Oh, never mind, we see him. Dude, I hate I fucking hate Ezreal. I think my kindred wins. I have to hold this wave. gonna ult this wait what where'd my okay I'm not sure what happened there looking closely there seems to be a white orb darting around Nate's camera in two distinct parts of the clip then as soon as Nate uses his ultimate to clear the wave you see the orb dart into him and possibly cause a bronze or iron error by making him issue a move command, causing the ultimate to cancel. Could this be an instance of something trying to steal the spotlight and int Nate's games? Or could this be a more malicious spirit forcing him to be brought down to the rank that they deem he is worthy? There are too many questions, with not enough answers. Hey. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like or maybe even subscribing. I'm gonna be honest, uh, this might have just been a one-off video. I don't know how I can keep making these sustainably, but I had a lot of fun making this. Uh, probably doesn't need to be said, but I did, you know, fake all of these. I edited it. Wow. <laughs> but yeah. It's it's all doctored. I did it all. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.